Hey everybody, Aaron from Mapbox here. Um, so today we're going to walk through the new beta feature uh, SAML single sign-on and how to set it up for your Mapbox account. Uh, the beauty of the feature is you no longer need to share passwords among users. You can connect mapbox.com, um, your account, to an identity provider that your organization already uses. So for example, we use Okta here at Mapbox. Um, that's up to date with my employee profile, my employee status, my team assignment. So a lot of benefits to using SAML, um, and we'll talk about another, roles, here in a minute. Um, but for a high-level overview, um, what you do is you log into your account, um, and I'll go ahead and jump back here. So say I just logged in, I'll land here on the main um, dashboard. You'll go to Settings and Security. So there we go, single sign-on in beta. Go ahead and click Enable Single Sign-on to get started. Now this form, um, you know, every, every uh, identity provider uses their own terms, so it can get a little wordy, but don't be intimidated. Great docs here, um, just click in the learn more button, and a lot of helpful notes on the setup page itself. Um, right away the documentation starts out with what the integration supports, um, what it doesn't support yet, uh, and then some step-by-step -step instructions, and including links out to each of the identity providers, so some of the um, top um, identity providers we're expecting your use, we link out to their documentation. Um, essentially, you take the details provided by Mapbox here, you copy and paste them over into your identity provider. Um, a couple notes over here on the side, like the SHA-256 algorithm needs to be used, application username must be an email, that's what we're expecting. Um, and then, uh, so roles I mentioned are one benefit of using single sign-on. Um, you can assign these to your users in the identity provider. Uh, root and admin, but there will be more on the way. And then you complete setup by generating that custom app in your identity provider, uh, copying the text strings and the X509 certificate uh, into this form, and completing setup by saying enable single sign-on, which will be activated once you have the right details in there. So uh, very excited for you to test this out. We hope to hear your feedback. You'll get a survey um, once you set it up. And uh, yeah, thanks and good luck.